Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's video we're going to be uh, doing a more in-depth planning tutorial for the UH60 evening mod for DCS. So, the other video I did Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, that might model for your Microsoft Flight Simulator limited what I could do. But I'm going to do the rest of the tutorial series in DCS world. And then hopefully Airfly FS4 comes out through UH60 mic model, which looks pretty promising from the screenshots. And we can do some videos in there too. So, for first off, we're going to kind of start off by doing just your standard BMC approach. So, the runway is off to our right. And we're going to be start off by showing you all how to do a standard BMC approach. So, we're going to turn around real fast. And basically, from let's say we're going to do a um, BMC into the taxiway straight ahead of us. Imagine there's a laser in between us, our position right now, and that taxiway. I'm going to start where the taxiway meets the runway is where I'm going to go, the hold marker. So, imagine there's a laser between the hold marker and here. You want to stay on that laser, that's called the glide path. So, from there we want to try to keep our airspeed to where our altitude and airspeed meet zero at the exact same time right over where we want to land. So we are a little fast right now, but that's fine. We're about, what is it, 60 knots right now? 65 knots? Alright, let's check for rate of closure. very fast right now. Alright, there we go. About 40, probably about 30 knots right now is where we want to be. So, the next thing we're going to do is a hover landing. Basically the same thing as the VMC approach. I'm just going to go right up here since it's the same thing. Except, the only difference is we're going to act like 10 feet is the ground. 10 feet is standard hover for the UH-60. So we're going to have like 10 feet ground level. And right when we get to 10 feet, we're just going to kind of come into a hover. And then bring her straight down. And I will have a hover tutorial coming out soon. Alright. show you kind of what we do for a dust off landing whether it's the middle of the desert where we're going to be kicking up a lot of dust or like here on Fort Drum like very powdery snow where it's going to cause us to not be able to see the ground we're coming on our approach 
we're going to want to kind of come in on approach for an altitude that about between 50 to 70 feet I'd say so let's say we want to land out in this field and go to about 60 feet alright there's 60 feet there and then hold at 60 feet and let's say we want to land right here in this spot bring her straight down and then cushion it right here we want to bring it straight down pretty fast so I'll do another one that one's that good so let's say you're coming in for an approach here we want to land just on the other side of this building here we're going to want to be about I'm gonna go 70 feet on this approach. Alright. There's 70 feet, slow down a bit. And bring her straight down pretty much. Cushion. And you may seem like, damn, that's a really hard landing. But the Blackhawk can take that. The struts are pretty good on this Blackhawk, on the Blackhawks, so they can take the beating. Alright, so you typically don't want to pop a stoppy when you're landing. Example, yeah, my parking brake's off, so that must just be a bug, because that's usually what happens when you have your parking brake on when you try to land. So that must just be a bug. So usually when you land, you're you may pop your back tire off about three inches, maybe three to four inches, but it's nothing like that. Like that, you almost took off your freaking main your blades doing that. All right. So now we're going to do a train flight decel. This is kind of for air assaults or whatnot. If we're doing air assault in a confined space or anything, this is one way we do it. Sometimes we do standard BMCs in, sometimes we do train flight decels. Basically, if we're flying NOE or something, or we're flying real low train flight, I'm mean, going to land in this big open field up here. I say we're doing air assault in there. You're going to want to. We're going to about 100 knots right now. Alright. We're going to kind of start to line up and bring up your nose without jumping your RPM up too much. You want to try to maintain a zero to a slight... Um, what would you call it? I just had a mind fart. Oh, that's it. A slight descent and not you're there you just shoot your standard VMC approach and where we need to go or you can go into the dust off or whatever you need to do from there cushion you're down all right so just like that you've done a train flight detail now the last one that we're gonna do is called a roll-on landing so if you lost one engine or something, then it would be too dangerous to try to come into a hover and land without risk of damaging your engine. You may want to do a roll-on landing, kind of just landing like an airplane. So, what you're wanting to do for this is kind of just like an airplane. You're going to want to flare a little bit right before landing. Don't slam it down too hard. And then uh, I'd say probably about, you want to be below 60 knots for this, by the way. So I'm going to get under about 50 knots to a roll on. Alright, we're looking for 50 knots. That's not really getting there, but so be it. That's just a simulator. Just know that you want to be below 60 knots when you're doing this. Alright. Boom, you're down. 
these anticyclic and pump your brakes. Alright. Now that is without aerodynamic braking. With aerodynamic braking, your main landing gear will be up off the ground a little bit when you're doing this, so let me kind of show you one with aerodynamic braking. So if we're doing one with aerodynamic braking, then we're going to want to be about here. Here's 50 knots. To go on a touchdown, but you're going to want to hold that. You're going to want to hold that attitude. Alright. Just like this. Until your nose just kind of falls down naturally. Just with her then it break it. Alright. So. That should be about all of them. There are a few more, but we heard they were using. Those are the main ones. Um, stay tuned for a takeoffs video, which I'm going to be doing later today. And then I may do a pattern video later today. I have no clue. So, uh, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment for any questions or concerns you may have, and I'll try to get back with you. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in another video.